Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to Fitness Friday. So today I wanted to do a little q and A. I I asked on Instagram for some questions regarding my prep because I know that not a lot of people are completely familiar with bodybuilding and prepping for a bodybuilding show. So I thought I'd open it up to some questions. So I'm going to actually show you guys my leg workout while I do a voiceover of answering the question. So rather than just me sitting here staring at the camera, um, you guys can watch me suffer through a leg workout uh, and I can put the workout on the screen as well. So yes, let's get to this video. If y'all have any other questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do another Q&A and let's get started. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I will see y'all in the gym. Alright guys, so this first question is nice and simple. How are you feeling so far? So as of right now, I have been on prep on my diet uh, for five weeks. So it's not a whole lot of time, especially in comparison to the long term, which my entire prep is about 25 weeks, 24, 25 weeks. So I have another 19 weeks to go. So far, I'm feeling fantastic. The changes in regards to my diet, my calories, haven't changed a ton yet. Um, I'm doing about 20, 25 minutes of cardio a day. Just nice and simple at the end of my workout. It's not super intense. Um, so, so far, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really motivated. And I'm just trying to focus on taking it one day, one week at a time. And that's really all we can do in this journey entirely, not just in a prep, but you can just take it one workout, one day, one meal, even one rep at a time. Because sometimes it's easy to get overwhelmed by the bigger picture. Um, so I try and just take it one day at a time, do what I can every single day, and just kind of take the challenges as they come. But so far, feeling really, really good. What are you doing differently this time around compared to before that's going to make you successful? So this question's tough because seriously, every season, every prep has been so different for me. The first prep that I did was the completely, like bodybuilding was completely new to me. Um, unfamiliar territory, I prepped myself. So that just means I was in charge of my own diet and cardio and workouts. The second show, um, I, I had a coach and the, the approach was slightly different. My workouts were different. Um, I did have to get my calories lower. I was not vegan for the most part of it. And then I went vegan for the last, I think it was the last two weeks of that prep. So I guess the biggest difference between this prep and the last two is that this is going to be my first entirely vegan prep. And I think that one benefit to that is that I definitely recover better and faster between workouts. So I do a lot of volume throughout the week between my lifting, my pull-ups, climbing, cardio. There's a lot, a lot of work that's being put um, basically into my schedule every single week. And being able to recover from that, it's, it's a lot. But I think that um, had I not made those changes to my diet, I honestly know that I wouldn't recover as well. Because before, when we did a lot of bouldering, um, I had very achy joints. I noticed a lot of stiffness in my fingers and my wrists and my elbows, and that is essentially gone now. So I think that that's going to be a big benefit. Um, and also another thing that I'm doing differently is I am doing more cardio now a lot earlier. So I'm curious to see how this helps, but I think that this will help me to keep my calories a bit higher for as long as possible. Um, and utilizing the cardio for the fat loss benefits, you know, and that's in addition to my lifting. So I think that my diet being fully vegan for this whole prep and my cardio are probably the biggest differences, but I think that they're going to benefit me the most. So I'm really excited to see what's to come, you know, what, what changes are to come for the next 19 weeks. Now, this is a great question. Would you consider it possible to prep for a show without counting macros? 
So if you don't know, macros are short. It's a word that's short for macronutrients, which are your protein, your carbs, and your fats. So counting your macros is essentially counting your calories, but to a more specific degree because you know exactly how much protein you're getting, how many carbs, how much fat. Um, this is beneficial because it is a very, very detailed way to manipulate your calories and it helps you, it makes sure that you're getting the right balance of macronutrients to help with muscle recovery, muscle growth, fat loss, um, whichever, whichever your focus is on. Um, so it's honestly probably the most time consuming as well because you do have to log and track and, you know, weigh and measure your food, but bodybuilding itself is time consuming and extreme and pushing your body to that level of leanness requires diligence and very, very specific focus on your intake. Um, I honestly wouldn't recommend trying to prep for a bodybuilding show without tracking your macros unless you have a coach that's doing it for you. So some people do rely on a meal plan and that's essentially tracking your macros without having to worry about tracking it. And that's whenever they have a certain meal at a certain time and it's already told to them, you know, they have this much protein, they have um, this much rice and this much veggies, you know, it's, it's just a specific amount. So you're tracking your macros, but if you have a coach creating your meal plan, you don't necessarily have to track. Now that doesn't really allow you to um, have any degree of wiggle room. So if you don't want, a lot of bodybuilders eat like chicken and broccoli and rice. If you don't want chicken and broccoli and rice, you kind of have no choice because you have to stick to the diet um, because you have to stick to your caloric intake and your macronutrients. And when it comes to leaning down for a show, every little bit uh, can have an effect on your physique. So every little bit of extra food, every little bit of, you know, missed cardio. Um, so in terms of getting down to being as lean as you need to for a show, I wouldn't recommend not tracking unless you do, like I said, have a meal plan. Um, unless you're one of the like 0.001% of people that stay pretty dang lean all year, um, it's going to be very difficult to intuitively eat into that degree of leanness for a show prep. Uh, so it's not something that I would recommend. And if you're not somebody that can get that strict on your diet, whether you're tracking your macros or following a meal plan, then I would not recommend bodybuilding because it's an extreme sport and it requires extreme dedication to your food, your sleep, your water, and your workouts to get to where you need to be. So my favorite part about prep is the motivation, 100%. Um, having such a dedicated and a strict goal is such a, like a kick in the pants for me. Um, I just, like, I love this process. I love coming to the gym and putting in effort and know that I'm slowly chipping away or building towards something. Um, so having that set date and, you know, I, I kind of felt this too whenever I was prepping for my photo shoot. Having that set date, something to reach and something that you know you're going to be held accountable on that day because your hard work shows, whether it's in your performance or in your physique. Um, having that 
drive and and kind of lighting that fire under my butt is my favorite part of prep hands down so the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys, you might have seen on my posing practice, I said that there's a link below to get yourself a shirt. Um, Matt and I, and this is something that we are very slowly going to be getting into, but we want to start doing screen printing. We want to start screen printing some shirts, merchandise, like I've got all these ideas of things that we want to put together for additional ways that you guys can support the channel, support our journey, whatever we're doing. I know that you guys are freaking amazing and all of the love and the encouragement and support that you guys have given us so far has been phenomenal. And we wanna be able to offer you guys something if you do want to support us in other ways, you'll be able to buy something that we, we make. Um, and that's gonna be so awesome for us to be able to design the actual screens because we want to do the screen printing mats set. Um, so to design the actual screens, make it, and then actually print it ourselves. That's such a cool thing to be able to do. And it's not just gonna be shirts. Like I have an idea, I wanna do like grocery totes, like canvas totes. Um, I want to do doggy bandanas. I think that would be so cute. And we have our new logo that I had somebody put together for us, which is right up here on the screen and I love it. I love it so much. So that'll be a little emblem or something that's printed on the clothing itself or some kind of tag. Um, and I'm just really excited to get into this new endeavor. So if any of you guys have experience with screen printing um, and clothing and things of that sort, let us know in the comments below because we are going to need the help just like with the RV living. Uh, we're gonna learn as we go. Um, we're gonna start with a very simple kit. It's a hundred, couple hundred dollars and you get one screen and the i don't even know what the terminology is we're going to be able to do basically one color and that's going to be where we're starting so anyway long story short i am actually offering fitness inspired shirts to kind of get my feet wet into this whole shirt business um, we are not printing these ourselves unfortunately but that's again the long-term goal but this is something to help support me to get to the state if you guys want to support, you can buy a shirt and that's a way to directly help us and then you get a shirt for it and it's pretty cool. And I think it's really, really neat. Um, the quote on the front is, we are stronger than we will ever know. And this is actually a quote and something that I've been telling myself since I started this whole fitness journey. Um, I've always known that we are capable of amazing things in this life and we are literally stronger than we will ever know. We are capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. And I'm, I'm getting like, I know it sounds lame, but I'm getting like little chill bumps thinking about it because the capabilities that we are given is amazing. And Matt and I are Christian, and I fully believe that we are created to do amazing things on this earth. And by showing our strength to others, by being honest and real with others and just offering love and encouragement, we are capable of changing other people's lives and helping them to see the good in the world. And so all of that ties in with this quote that I've put on the shirt and it's something that means a lot to me. Um, and so hopefully for other people, if they do get the shirt, if they choose to, it's a constant reminder that they are stronger than they'll ever know and that they are capable of more than they can even imagine and i'm really excited about it and like i said this is our first just kind of getting our feet wet into this whole t-shirt creation and it's it's going to be a long road but i think it's going to be really cool and it's just another way for us to be self-sustaining you know eventually creating these designs from scratch eventually creating possibly designing the clothing itself and of course I want to throw in some RV related or RV inspired stuff uh, maybe quotes so this is just the little seedling of an idea it's a seedling and I don't even know where it's gonna go it could fail miserably but you never know until you try so if you guys want to support 
that journey, my journey to this stage, the channel, basically buying a shirt is supporting us in general. Um, and you also get a shirt from it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to cut mine into a tank top and I'm going to rock it to the gym or everywhere because I just, I wear tank tops everywhere. So I just wanted to offer that to you guys. The link is down below. If you are interested, feel free to check it out. My goal is 30 shirts. I'm at three right now. And that's one of them is mine. <laughs> So feel free you guys if not it's cool. We love you anyway um, Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for the support for the love and for just being a part of our YouTube family The more that we do these videos the more that we appreciate every single one of you guys Watching tuning in offering encouragement advice everything. I cannot tell you guys what it means to us and I think I'm having an emotional day today because I'm tearing up again but really you guys have become family you guys were there when Matt broke his leg you guys were there when Buzz was going through kidney failure and heartworms um, you guys have been there for I mean for the better part of a year a lot of you guys have if not longer and it just means the world to us just to have you guys along and hopefully someday we'll get to give you guys a big hug in person and share some coffee and catch up you know catch up like old friends and family does um, so we really do love you guys I appreciate y'all watching and for sticking through with everything so I hope you guys are having a good day and we will see y'all in Monday's video